Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.5, number 9. And in this question, we are asked, hey, if you start with f of x equaling 1 over x squared, how could you shift this in two different directions? So the first thing I want to do is I want to go up two units, and then I'd like to go left four units. So anytime you want to shift up or down, you're going to add a constant outside of the grouping symbols. And since I'm going to run on a room, I'm just going to write the word outside here. And anytime you want to move left or right, you want to add or potentially subtract a constant. But this time you want to do it inside the grouping symbols. And I'm going to show you what I mean by grouping symbols in just a moment. So even though we would never write it this way, there is a grouping symbol here in the squared term. I could technically write this as x minus 0 squared. And admittedly, we would never do that, but, but I want you to see those parentheses, those grouping symbols. So let me start with moving up two units. So if I want to move up two units, what I want to do is I want to add 2 to the outside of this function. All right. And now let's try and shift left four units. If I want to shift left four units, what I technically want to do is instead of writing this 0 here, I want to put a minus 4 for left 4. But if I simplify that, and I'm just going to put that off to the side here, if you had x minus a negative 4, that would actually turn into x plus 4. So when I go to actually simplify my function that I've transformed, I'm looking at 1 over x plus 4 squared plus 2, and that's why you see me writing that over there. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.